meeting of the Harrison County Board of Education to order, and it is a special meeting. And with that, I'll turn it over to the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Jeffs. Mr. President and uh, all those that are here, today is a really, really special day in West Virginia, is it not? And we've had a lot, a lot of exciting, you know, announcements over the last months and months, or even years. But today is really neat because today it touches more and more and more kids that are absolutely, really, really dear to my heart. Now, I've got a couple things I want to read you, but we're about to announce a student-powered program. A student-powered program. First in the United States. Isn't it, doesn't it have a ring to it in West Virginia when we can say first in the United States? It is really, really special. Now, <clears throat> with all that, this organization that kind of just drifted into me, and they were kind enough that they said, since I'm already a coach, we'd like for you to be our head coach. A real honor in my book. Because they're on the way to absolutely changing, in their name, changing the lives of so, so many that are having all kinds of trouble with this terrible drug addiction that we have across our state today and across the, our nation and across our world. I got to read to you just a couple things, and I won't bore you very much. But just think about this. It says, today we are announcing the launch of a student-powered opioid and substance misuse prevention program. The program is the first of its kind and results from a service agreement between West Virginia Game Changers and world-renowned Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation. The Game Changers in School Prevention Program will be implemented in three Harrison County schools starting in the fall of 2022, including Lincoln High School, Lincoln Middle School, and Big Elm Elementary. And then it goes on to say all kinds of other neat stuff and everything. But now just think about this just a second. How often, how often, have we in West Virginia really moved the needle to change the world? You know, absolutely, right off the get-go, the guy that came to me and said was Larry Puccio and his son is Lance, is that correct? And, and then from that came Joe. And then from that came a whole lot of others that are absolutely making this work. We got all kinds of great, great programs. You know, Kathy's involved in communities and schools, and there's goodness beyond belief going on there. This absolutely just takes us on and on and on to do more and more and more and more good. And it's really an honor. And so, from the standpoint of where I'm at, I'm a thousand percent on board. And from the st standpoint of where I'm at, I'm honored, honored to be called your head coach. So with that, I guess now I'm turning over, I'm turning this thing over to you, Brother Joe. So come up here, Brother Joe Bozick, and talk to us. Governor, thank you very, very much, and thank you so much for the support and endorsement and the help you've given us the last two and a half years. With over a thousand victories coaching boys and girls basketball, Governor Justice's record certainly speaks for itself. But today, I didn't know you were going into this. <laughs> <laughs> well, but today, you continue to establish another more important legacy as head coach of Game Changers, where under your guidance and leadership, West Virginia is becoming the nation's leader in the battle against opioid and substance misuse. Make no mistake, the governor is tackling perhaps the biggest challenge in his long and illustrious career as a leader. In sports, these kinds of challenges are often referred to as a rebuilding process, but this, unlike sports, is a challenge where lives are at stake. 
through excellent programs such as community and schools under the First Lady's outstanding guidance and Jobs and Hope, now Game Changers initiative, Governor Justice is assembling the components for a team to meet the challenge of opioid and substance misuse head on. And make no mistake about it, he and we will win and he and us together are going to save lives. Up here with us are many members of the team the governor has assembled and they're here today and it's one easy look to see why lives are going to be saved. Today's announcement is possible because of Harrison County Superintendent of Schools and Game Changer Board Member Doris Stutler who has left her expertise in education to develop this one-of-a-kind prevention program. Her commitment is further evidenced by the members of the Harrison County Board of Education present today, and I do thank all of you for the commitment that you're showing. Dora, please come up and further expound on the involvement you've had in Game Changers for us. Thank you. I've got an act to follow, don't I? <laughs> follow the governor. I just want to say, uh, first of all, welcome to Harrison County Schools. It's such an honor for all of you to be here and, um, and especially an honor to host our governor here for this great event and for this big announcement. Um, thank you to Governor Justice for having the vision and the belief to be our head coach for Game Changers. And I'm sure under your leadership and support, we are here this afternoon to make this monumental um, announcement. And it's all, uh, if you just remember, it's for the children of West Virginia. This is truly a big day, and it's literally, as Joe said, going to save lives. I uh, want to thank uh, Mr. Campbell. He's here from the West Virginia uh, Board of Education. He's a member with them. And also, we have board members here from Game Changers uh, that I'll be working with, and it's a privilege to do that. Also, um, I can't say enough about my own board members, our Harrison County board members. We have President uh, Gary Hamrick uh, at my right, and I have uh, Mr. Doug Hogue, he is a member, and we have Vice President Frankie Devano, and over here I have Michael Darty as a member of our board, and uh, Kristen Messenger uh, could not be with us. So thank you so much. I can't do anything, we don't do anything in Harrison County unless we all work together as a board, so I appreciate that. Um, also, I want to recognize the staff here in the county because they'll be working with us to get Game Changers underway, and it's so exciting. Lastly, I'd like to thank Hazelton Betty Ford. I don't know you very well, but I'm sure we'll get to know you and excited to have her in our schools. And just a little bit of uh, time that I've, I've spoken with her and with Joe, I think we all have the same mission, and that is to reach children. And that's, of course, what we do in a school system, and to be systemic and to start a program in the elementary school, move it to a middle school and then a high school, and do that all together, there's going to be great success. And I was a school administrator for a long time, and that's how things work. You have to reach all levels, and it has to work together. So that is our plan for Harrison County, and I'm proud uh, to announce the first three schools for Game Changers. So I can't say enough other than thank you for allowing us to be part of this process, and the Harrison County Schools and our students, thank you. So. Thank you, Dora. Um, as we've come to find out through our association with Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation, education is the key component to a successful prevention program. We're thrilled that Tom Campbell, a member of the West Virginia State Board of Education, would take time from his busy schedule and make the three and a half hour drive up here to be with us today. Tom? Thank you, Joe. Um, I was a student at WVU, so I'll make it quicker than three and a half hours. <laughs> um, it's great to be back in Harrison County. I um, have several friends here, serve with many friends from here in the legislature. Um, it's uh, my honor to be here. Um, our president of our board, Miller Hall, had another commitment. Our superintendent, Clayton Birch, um, is um, in Charleston. The legislature is there for interims, governor, and, and they're paying attention to that. Um, so I'll bring greetings from them and from our whole board and from the Department of Education. Uh, I'm glad to do it. Um, they were thrilled. They asked me to come, and I jumped at the chance. So thank you for, for having me here. Uh, we stand ready to work to change the game. 
Um, this board, uh, the governor selected just about all of this board. That's an unusual situation, but you have so. And uh, this, this state board is, has been trying to reach out and work with people uh, as directly as we can. So we appreciate the opportunity to, to be part of this team. Um, I would like to say briefly, uh, Governor Justice is a neighbor. Um, before he was governor, uh, you may remember he bought the Greenbrier. That's 10, 11, so many years ago. Okay, we don't, but anyway, too long? <laughs> it, nine, I'm sorry, okay. Anyway, that's when I first, of course, I, I was, I was uh, um, aware of his game changing as a coach, but that was a big game changer. I was in the legislature when that was going on, and we were representing Greenbrier County. We were looking at a downsize the Greenbrier tremendously. We'd have had much less employees. Um, just let's say it wouldn't have been nice. Lo and behold, we hear Jim Justice is about the Greenbrier and, and touch base with him then. And it's, it's been great that he did. I know it hasn't always been easy on his as his family and, and, and I guess he's governor now. He's, he's not as involved. But the, the fact of the matter is that's been huge. And um, um, the Greenbrier has been getting stronger, I think, coming out of COVID. And that's been huge, not just for my area, which the Greenbrier is our major employer, but I think huge for West Virginia. So he was a game changer before he was governor. He's definitely a game changer now. And I work with Kathy with Communities and School, which he's a game changer as well, Governor. Would you agree? <laughs> and um, it's fun to be around the group that I'm around, not just the Governor, the First Lady, but the board. And we're trying to work more closely with the local board. I want to say thank you all. You all are at the, you're at the front, Superintendent. If we have any teachers, I'll never leave the room without saying thank you to the teachers. We're working right now to try to figure out how to make your lives better. It's really tough right now coming out of COVID. So look forward to talking to you all. I won't talk anymore. I am a politician. It's hard to shut me up. The governor looks at me. I shut up. So um, he's not doing that, but he would have had to. But anyway, very good to be here. Thank you for the Ford, uh, Betty Ford connection, uh, for the connection for Game Changers. All those, Larry Pucciano called me yesterday. So many people have participated so well. We look forward to getting positive energy to help our children. Thank you again. Thank you, Tom. We've been very fortunate to have established a partnership with the Hazleton Betty Ford Foundation to develop this comprehensive one-of-a-kind program. And Desiree Vasquez, the Director of Professional Education and Continuum Solutions Programming, has worked tirelessly with us to make this program possible. She caught an early morning flight to be with us today, further showing the commitment we've received from the Hazleton Betty Ford Foundation. Desiree. Thank you, Governor. Uh, Joe, Larry, Dora, Tom, everyone who's here today. So appreciate the opportunity. Prevention is about investing in young people to promote and protect health and well being. And it's great to see West Virginia doing just that. All of us at the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation are thrilled to be a part of this important effort. Prevention is a key part of our mission to keep healthy kids healthy and to grow them into people who lead healthy and happy lives free from addiction. Addiction continues to be an enduring health concern, as the governor said, for the world and for West Virginia. And while there are no silver bullets, there are effective solutions. We need to confront this public health concern from every possible angle, including effective prevention programs upstream. Our prevention approach is an empowering one that honors the dignity and respect of the young people we work with by partnering with them as they learn the information and skills that they need to make their own healthiest choices about alcohol, opioid, and other substance use and non-use. At the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation, we bring a spirit of humility, empathy, grace, and love to the Game Changers program. It is in this spirit that all of the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation prevention specialists who will be walking alongside Game Changer coaches and students are not only highly skilled prevention science professionals, but also people who happen to be in healthy long-term recovery from substance use disorders themselves. We are truly with the people of the state of West Virginia as professionals who have come through addiction and who are committed to prevention from a deep place with their own mission. This spirit of humility, empathy, grace, and love that we bring to prevention work is what students deserve, but it's also what influences students to be their best. These students, motivated by this work together, can in turn motivate their peers towards healthier choices. 
The prevention work of the Hazelden and Betty Ford Foundation is in part so effective for students because it was innovated in conjunction with students who for decades have shared with us their desire to be healthy role models to their peers and to younger kids. The Game Changer approach is prevention programming that is different from just say no campaigns and scare tactics because it harnesses real life skills known to be effective at keeping children and teens healthy, helping them choose not to use substances and to get help early if they need it. These skills are practical, accessible, non-threatening, fun, and with practice easy for students to use for weeks, months, and years after exposure to Game Changer programming. These skills are provided to students by trained prevention professionals, committed school staff, and by peer leaders themselves who are all forming a network of ongoing and effective prevention support for youth. For prevention work to be effective, it must wed what we know about the prevention science with what communities know to be true for themselves. This is why partnerships such as that between West Virginia Game Changers and the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation have the potential to be incredibly successful at improving the trajectory of kids' health for decades to come. Thank you. Thank you, Desiree. As I had mentioned, many members of the team that Gus Governor Justice has assembled are here today with us. You know, today, Larry Puccio is here. He's our Game chamber, Changer Chairman of the Board who volunteers, not monthly, not daily, but hourly to do whatever is needed to change the game in West Virginia. There's a Game Changer Board member, John Ebert, who graciously gives of his time and access to 41 McDonald's throughout West Virginia to raise money for the vital prevention education program you're hearing about today. Game Changer board member and attorney Rebecca Pomeroy is here today and who together with Mark Weintraub and her other colleagues at Bailey and Glasser volunteer their time and efforts helping Game Changers navigate through the challenges of being a 501c3 corporation. And then there's Lance Puccio, a young businessman faced with challenges of a new business, but after losing close friends to opioid and substance misuse, lending his time and talents on a daily basis, if not an hourly basis, to help me in so many areas I lack proficiency in. Today we've begun with Governor Justice's leadership to send a message that West Virginia will not stand idly by and allow opioid and substance misuse to tear, destroy our family units and tear away at the very core of our communities. The fight will be long and not without setbacks, but under Governor Justice's leadership and the help of those here today and those in the field, we will persevere because that's who we are. I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, I think we have a little bit of time for questions before Governor Justice has to get on to his next visit. So um, and any questions for anybody up here, please feel free. Jasmine. Well, to be perfectly honest, you've got several players. The chairman of the board is right here, right here in this county. You know, absolutely, without any question, you know, you have to start somewhere. But Harrison County, just to tell it like it is, Harrison County has been an educational leader for a long time. They've done a lot of really good stuff here. And so we start here. I mean, this was an easy selection in my book. And the, be, and the powers to be that made the selection and made the recommendation, I think you made the right choice. I think they made a very good choice. So congratulations. You know, it's like, I guess it's congratulations. You got the ball. And, you know, <laughs> and so, so, uh, so that's good stuff. Any other questions? How did this Game Changers come to be? Well, a couple years ago, I was meeting with Bernie Dolan, uh, the SSAC Executive Director, and Don Robinson from NVB Bank to find out how NVB could further enhance its relationship 
uh, and sponsorship with the uh, SSAC. Um, it's no secret that I had a daughter who was a first team All-State basketball player who went to school and developed a three-year heroin addiction um, and tore our family apart. So we got to see firsthand what it's exactly like for so many families. Now, we were fortunate. Our daughter's 10 years clean for the grace of God. She's working in youth services right now, helping others. But so many of my friends haven't been as fortunate, and um, they're putting their kids in the ground. And um, so we got together, and one thing led to another. And quite frankly, again, Governor Justice agreeing to become the head coach took us to on a completely another level with Larry Puccio's help, and we're here today. Thank you very much for coming. There's reception uh, down the hall with some refreshments and some food for anyone, and uh, we really do appreciate it. And uh, now let's go change the game. Thank you, Governor.